have anecdotal evidence that flowering time has shifted, the, flower, the plants are flowering earlier. What we really need is lots of additional information to make that a much firmer sort of conclusion. Here we have a fairly typical British native bluebell. It has a lovely nodding inflorescence. Most of the flowers are present on the same side. They're not distributed all the way round. Look at the very dark, almost sort of purplish blue colour of the flowers and a lovely honey-like scent as well that the flowers give off. And a very recurved petal, very bent back on itself. And perhaps the most important thing to do is to look at the anthers and see the colour of the pollen. And in our native plants, it has a sort of lovely creamy white colour. The bluebells, like so many other plants, have reached this far north as a consequence of, of, of recolonising after the last ice age. And what has happened is that our British bluebells, which are also native all the way down to the top of Spain, have become isolated from the Spanish bluebell, which was found further south from the central ranges of the mountains in, in Spain, southwards. One of the things that we've been very interested to do at the museum is to actually map the spread of garden bluebells, which are usually um, Spanish bluebells and their hybrids between our, our sort of native bluebell and the Spanish bluebell. And we want to see how far they've, they've ex escaped into the wild. I mean, th th for us, it, it's a really burning question because Britain has such a vast amount of the, all of the world's bluebells are here. So if they get changed by this, this process of hybridization with our garden bluebells, then that they will be changed forever. And this is a Spanish bluebell from Spain. The first thing you'll notice is the much paler colour of the flowers and the flowers themselves are much more open, the petals aren't so tightly recurved and then when you look inside the flowers you get this big difference, you'll see the lovely blue colour of the anthers, that's because they're full of blue pollen and if we give this a sniff virtually no scent at all. Now if we look at a hybrid now, you'll see that the anthers are rather sort of creamy greeny colour. The petals don't curve back as tightly as they do in, in our native plants. We've got some of the dark colour of our native plant but also the paler colour that you expect from the Spanish bluebell so flowers end up being quite sort of bicoloured you find that there's a hint of one-sidedness, although they're often arranged all the way round as you would expect for the Spanish one. The more people who can contribute to it, the, the, the greater the, the chance that we can actually say something really definite about climate change. <laughs>